Hi, welcome to the uh, Ray Floro Essential Calis Illustrissimo uh, training series. I'll be doing a series of videos on how to train solo with the Calis Illustrissimo techniques. Uh, it's a very common question that I get asked from my students, how do you train alone? Because there are so many techniques that you can train, but you, you really need a partner to, to feed the strikes. Um, I've developed a training system with a, 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 a basically it's a four foot pole. Uh, this was an old Joe staff that I got. It's made out of uh, the Tasmanian spotted gum, so it's heavy. The heavier it is, uh, the better. It's about four foot in length. And what is essential is you get a piece of string. I've got a piece of hoochie cord here. It's uh, what the military uses. It's just a piece of nylon string, fairly thin that I got from a, a disposal army surplus store. It's essential that when you tie it, it is in the middle and it is perfectly horizontal. That's actually the hardest part of this, getting the stick perfectly horizontal. Notice that I've hung it up about, I know, solar plexus height. It's a personal preference thing on how high it is. You can make the stick longer to five foot, six foot. It really, it really doesn't matter. But I find that the heavier stick, the, the stick, the better. What I've also done for training purposes is I've put white tape on the ends. Now these will later signify uh, the blade edge. So it, it's, it's significant in that you will know where to place the hand, okay? So you can basically train any Kali Anis Eskrima moves on this. I actually call this the uh, Filipino wooden dummy. Um, the drill we'll go for first is we'll, we'll train the uh, Estrella drills or in, in some starts it's called inside, outside deflections. So if a strike is coming this way, the defense will be here okay on the on the inside notice my blade intercepts it and then my hand checks it so it's a it's a medium range technique the significant thing about this technique is when you uh, when you block or when you engage the, the the opponent's weapon that you parry with the flat of the blade you don't go edge to edge, okay? Uh, several reasons, you, you'll, 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 uh, you'll basically destroy the edge of your bl blade. Uh, going edge to edge will bind it, so you can't, you'll get stuck, you can't counter soon. But the, the side of the, the side or the uh, side of the blade is where you want to engage the opponent. The characteristics of the Illustrissimo system is that we don't go reaching out, okay? As the strike comes in, you keep it nice and tight, and you wait for the strike to come in. So on the inside deflection, this is the technique. On the other side, then what it is, is I just turn around, pivot, and I engage this way. Notice again, I'm engaging with the edge of the blade. So on this side, notice that my arm's crossing, my alive hand crosses over my blade. On the other side, my alive hand is to the side of the blade. Okay, so it's here, and here. Now, how you practice with this is this. At first, what you need to do is learn how to feed. See, the, the entire drill is this. See, there's the outside deflection, inside deflection, outside deflection, inside deflection. Notice that the, uh, the wooden pole feeds to me and I can do the technique. Then I push and it feeds to me here, feeds to me here. It, 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 it's a great way to get the technique right. So. At first, what you need to do is learn how to feed. You, you just don't push it out or you just don't strike it because it'll just, it needs more control. So when you get used to it, take one end and just casually just flick it out. Notice what I want is a nice feed. Notice the pivot point on the string, okay? Now once you get used to feeding, and just go slow, okay? What you do is you feed and this technique. Notice I've engaged with the side of the blade and I've grasped with my fingers, okay? So I push away there, side of the blade, into my fingers, okay? From there, 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 there. Okay, so feeding out, catching it. Feeding out, catching it. Feeding out, catching it. Feeding out, catching it. Now what I can do is feed out, catch it, and feed it again at the same angle. I can just 
basically practice the same technique or feed it out here then I can feed the same angle again do the technique what I don't want to do is to reach out what I don't want to do is to reach out wait for it to come in and then latch on feed it, wait for it to come in and latch on All right. that's drill number one drill number two is from here I do the uh, deflection then I go into the roof block then I go into the other side deflection okay so it's one two three one two three notice from here okay notice from here with the roof block my hand goes underneath then here it goes to the side so my hand a live hand goes over a live hand goes underneath a live hand goes to the side now how do you do the roof block this is where I love this thing to practice the roof block what we do is we push down to feed it over like this okay now as it goes down I do the roof block see from there notice the the flat of my blade engages the blade okay from here feeds this way from here feeds this way so the drill now is I go inside deflection roof block outside deflection okay inside deflection roof block outside deflection inside deflection roof block outside deflection now the reason for these white tape is say for example if I do the inside deflection you see the blade now engages the white tape which is the blade and my hand now goes here if I go this way but then what, what happens there is my hand is now on the blade so it's basically self-correcting so it makes ensures that this hand is on the non-blade side and this engages the blade now if I go on to the other side the blade engages the white tape which is the blade and here so I cannot cross it like this see if you're practicing alone sometimes you get it mixed up okay instead of here you're probably going there instead of there you're probably going there but with the white tape it will make sure that you put your hands or your live hand in the right place and over here alright so what you do you've now got a flow drill of, um, of inside deflection roof block outside deflection now you can always reverse it okay if you want a bit of variety or just go to this drill here and go to just drill there okay so this is basically the fundamental drills I get my students to do and it covers the pretty major blocks what I think is significant mastering these three blocks that, that's probably all you need but we, we will go through more so feeding inside deflection roof block outside deflection in the preceding videos what we'll do is we'll, we'll show you from here how to counter okay from here how to do disarms okay from here you can actually use these as disarms but we'll go through that later okay hope you enjoyed the video